I'm Barry Chandler, co-founder of StoryForge. Thanks for watching today's video. Who's your enemy? Is it clear in your marketing, in your communications, in your positioning, and everything you do that you have an enemy? If you don't have an enemy, it's hard to know what you stand for if people don't know what you stand against. So we've talked in previous videos how beliefs are the most important thing to promote, to market, far greater than products or services. So our beliefs, our worldview are often what attract us. But something that can attract people even more is when they're clear on who our enemy is and they share that same enemy. And there are many examples of brands who have uh, made it clear who their enemy is or a practice that is their enemy and why they have come out with a solution or a counter to the way it's always been done. A great example is an app right now called Robinhood and Robinhood is a stock trading app and Robinhood has made uh, fee-based uh, stock trades the enemy. So the $9.99 per trade, the $4.99 per stock trade uh, is their enemy. Instead, Robinhood has zero dollar trades. It doesn't cost you a cent to trade your stock. Now, they've made the big bad uh, banks, the big bad um, trading houses the enemy and in doing so they've attracted a whole host of new customers who could never afford a $10 trade. Maybe they're only buying a $10 stock and so they can't risk another $10 just to buy it. And so Robinhood has made clear that they are uh, against this uh, industry and this practice of charging so much money for trades when they realized that and they identified that it doesn't cost very much, only a few cents for them to trade. And so they eat that up and they make money through a membership model that's completely optional. But I can trade for free forever if I like to do so. Uh, Airbnb is another great example of uh, looking at the hotel industry and saying, you know what, it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this hard. It doesn't have to be this regulated. It doesn't have to be this uh, expensive. There are ways to make it easier for people to stay in cities and for people to belong. And they've made it clear what they stand for and in doing so, what they stand against. So who is your enemy? Is it clear that you have a stand, a belief, a position? Because if you're not divisive, your marketing is going to be diluted as you try and attract everybody. But rather you want to attract those people who believe in exactly the same thing. You know, we learned over uh, the first couple of years of starting StoryForge that rather than trying to sell our services, we just had to promote and share our beliefs and our worldviews and our philosophies, just like you're watching here today. Many of our clients come through these videos, through our, um, our thought leadership pieces that we put out through content marketing and through videos because we're selling now our beliefs. We're sharing what we stand for and what we stand against. How it's always been done, we stand against that. We have certain beliefs that people are attracted to and we've done business because of it. So find your enemy, find that process, that brand, that practice, that industry that you stand against because you believe it doesn't serve the needs of your customers, doesn't serve the needs of your people and guess what? You're here to offer the solution and you're going to attract all of those people who believe exactly the same thing to you. It's going to drive down the cost of your marketing, drive down the cost of your advertising, sell your beliefs, take a stand, find your enemy, it's far more profitable. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and if you want a business that is more valuable because it is more meaningful to your customers, your employees and all of your stakeholders, then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the button below.